Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn how can you create a drop down menu in using Python taking down. Using the Python code, if you see on my screen, I have created a small drop down menu where I can select the different branches and submit the data. So, how this drop down menu can be created? Let's see in this video. previous set of videos we have learned how can you create this text boxes for the name email phone number and the submit button now we have to add a drop down so let's get started the very first thing I need a drop down so I'll create a variable called drop down or for the specific thing that you want to do for example I want to create a drop down for the branch like computer science mechanical branch for the students so I'm saying branch underscore and I'm going to give it a name just to identify whether it's a drop down variable or it's a text box variable. So here it is a drop down. So I'm saying drop down equals to now we had imported this uh, tkinter library, right? So using tkinter library, if you simply say combo box, generally it is known as combo box. Now it doesn't come, right? If I'm typing combo box, it is not there. For this, we have to use another module called TTK. So for that, I'll go to the top and I'm going to import another module called TTK. So what this TTK stands for, it is theme tkinter. That means theme based. We can design more, uh, you know, more uh, objects like a drop down and all that. It is there inside this module, TTK module, okay, theme based. So now here what I'm going to do, I am going to use the TTK module. So you can see TTK module has come. You can directly also write like ttk dot and i want a combo box so you can see combo box is part of this ttk module this is a class called combo box this class has to be kept inside the root okay and then once i have the root i have to have some choices right for the drop down you have to have some choices now for the choices there is a parameter called values okay the parameter is values and here i am going to give some choices now what is this choices i have created choices but i have to have something right inside the choices like computer science and all that you have to mention this is just a variable called choices and in this variable it will be a list variable where i am going to put some values let's say computer science comma and then i am going to put something called let's say uh, electronics and communication and then let's put something called mechanical we'll just keep it simple okay now what happens this understand from this choices list i am going to show the drop down clear okay this is done now this branch where would you like to keep uh, this specific uh, variable where would you like to keep in your application so i will use the pack pack is for the geometry we have learned now dot pack here what i will do i'll use the similar uh, sizing right the anchor parameter has to be i mean this has to be kept inside the extreme left of the application so i'm using tkinter dot w w means west so i'll keep it to the extreme left and i want to give some space not to the extreme left but i want to give some padding padding means some outer space so pad x is equal to i'm going to say 10 now let's run this and see how this one is appearing. Now if I run this specific code, you can see the drop down has appeared with the list of values or the choices we have given. C S E C mechanical has come. But again it, it is attached to the previous text box. So I also need a label, right? I, nobody will understand what is this for. So we have to put a label. Now put a label, what I will do here just above it i'm going to create with the same name called branch underscore label so naming this one is very important when you grow your application with lot many different widgets you must name it properly so that it becomes easy to understand what is that for now branch dot label so here i can use the tkinter module dot uh, i have for label there is something called label class i'm going to use that and here this has to be kept inside the root and the label should have a name so the parameter should be text and i'm going to say enter or select a branch right select a branch done so all this has been done 
and then once you have created any widget or a label or text box you have to pack it as always so let's pack it dot pack and within that we will just copy paste the specific one because all of the widgets has to be kept in the similar space okay so this is done so if i run it you can see the branch has been created and there is a pad x means some space has been given here right around surrounding this so the little space has been given so that is that looks great right select branch and then i have got all these options all right so i got it now the next question that comes to our mind in this video we have learned how do you write to an excel and the entire logic i have explained in that video right how do you write to excel now what i'm going to do uh, to write to the excel right i have to have get that drop down value some you know anyone who has selected from the branch drop down i would like to have that value so i'll create a variable called branch and then branch drop down right this is the widget dot get same thing same thing what we have learned previously mm -hmm. so branch variable is going to hold the data now now because branch variable holds the data in the condition i'm going to simply pass branch and here i'm going to simply say branch okay so now everything is done now what this will do this is going to write to the excel file if you are not sure how to write to an excel file watch this video where i have explained in detail how can you write to a specific file in a specific sheet so let me run this and show you the demo as to how it's going to write it to the specific sheet. So let give some name. Uh, let me give like Steven and then enter email address. Let me say Steven test one.com something I'm writing. Okay. Some email which is not real and then some phone number. Let me enter. Okay. And then some branch. Let's I'm saying mechanical. I'm going to hit on submit. You can see the prompt has come data submitted. Now, if you look at my Excel file in the registration sheet, I have got Steven Edge with the required things that we have entered in the application. Everything has been entered into the Excel file. So, all looks good. So, thank you guys for watching. In this video, you have learned how to create a branch. So, what are the specific things that you should remember to create a drop down right for the branch you have to have the combo box and combo box is part of the ttk module okay that is one learning and then the other learning to pass it to this one again the dot get method will work that will pass the value to this branch variable and this is the logic we are putting to enter the data or append the data into the sheet so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in our next content Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We are going to meet once again in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.